What is going on? We're here at Miss Shirley's Cafe and we've got this massive monkey bread. Chocolate banana monkey bread. Whoa! Bye. I am so excited to break this down because 97% of people with diabetes would say no. Absolutely not. No way that it is possible to eat something like this and still have awesome blood sugars. But it's as simple as breaking it down nice, slowly, and then realizing, hey, you can take a responsible dose and still eat this. So before I break this down, in case you don't know or you're new here, my name is Ben Zeal. I'm a registered dietitian, strength coach, and I've lived with type 1 diabetes for over 20 years. So without further ado, let's get at this. So we've got here. Let's go, G! Let's go, G! Let's go! Obviously, there's a bunch of chocolate sauce in the middle, which looks freaking awesome. There is a ton of monkey bread. And this stuff is no joke. This stuff is absolutely no joke. It's very French toast-like, as you can see here. Very French toast-like. And then you got a little bit of banana. So let's break this piece by piece. So first thing is the actual bread. This right here is going to be broken to about one, two, three, four different pieces. So assuming you were to eat one fourth of this will go into that and then you know if you were to eat the entire thing at one time which you may or may not want to do but if you wanted to i'll go into that as well so each of these pieces here obviously you have you know it's very french toast like it's very dense bread it's very thick there's chocolate chips on the top there's a little bit of banana so for the bread itself you are looking at something in the neighborhood of about 30 to 40 grams. I would go 35 to be safe because it is thicker than normal bread. But at the same time, it's not gonna be too, too much. You don't wanna overdo it that much either. Now also, you've got the chocolate chips on top. This piece of banana is probably like one. I wouldn't worry about that. The chocolate and the chocolate chips, that's probably gonna give you another, you know, five to 10. I'd be safe and say it's about eight. So this piece right here would be about 44. That does not include the chocolate in the middle and that includes just this piece right here. Now, if you were to go have, you know, the entire thing, do the math, 44 times four, remember this is an approximation, just use 45 to make it easy, say about 180 grams of carbs this entire thing. Now, I'm not gonna be eating the entire thing, I'm gonna be sharing it with Amelia because I try to be nice and try to be sweet every now and then. <laughs> but, this right here, you're definitely gonna want to make sure your pre-bolus is on point. You're gonna maybe even want to consider pushing that free bolus out a little beyond the normal 15 minutes because you want that insulin to kick in because this is gonna hit your blood sugar like that. Bye. I can take that one to the bank for you. Now, here's the caveat. You also have to consider the fat and whatever minimal protein is here. So in terms of fat, there's gonna be a little bit of fat in the bread. There's definitely fat in the chocolate. There might be a little bit in the chocolate sauce. So there's going to be enough to be considered. Now, if you're eating this alone, you may or may not do too much. If you're eating this with something else that has a good amount of fat in it, that's what you're gonna wanna consider. Because remember, not now, but three, four, five, eight hours later, it is going to come back and bite your blood sugar in the ass, 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 ass. So that is how I would break this down 100%. Hopefully this helps at least a little bit. Let me know what other foods you want me to break down. Drop a comment down below this video. Click the subscribe button. Make sure you don't miss any more breakdowns on how to eat awesome foods, living with diabetes. And finally, if you are someone that says, I would never have the confidence to eat this all by my lonesome. I want someone to help me break these kinds of foods down. I want to get my blood sugars in a better spot, improve my A1C, and feel better and feel confident in my diabetes management now then my team and i would be happy to help shoot me a message let me know how i can support you and i'll catch you later